Siraj. I just wanna go over my favorite pressure washer setup for 2023. I've had this a little over a year now and I absolutely love that speedy setup that you saw in the intro right there. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing because it just makes washing your car so dang simple and easy for a relatively inexpensive price. If you guys are looking for a pressure washer setup for your car, I'm sure you've seen the Obsessed Garage stuff, and while I will admit that stuff is absolutely sick and a Krenzel would be amazing, I don't know, a thousand, a couple thousand, honestly, dollars to wash my vehicle is not really in my budget. I'd rather track my car, I'd rather do modifications on my car. Um, I have a lot of other things that I could spend that money on. So if you're like me and you want a sweet setup that is kind of similar to the one that Obsessed Garage builds, this is the ultimate setup in my opinion. This is it up here on my wall. I've just basically uh, hard piped the hose to this over to my washing machine. You could do this to your uh, outside hose area or whatever, or if you have some sort of hard pipe setup, you could do it as well. It has a very long cord, three feet long, which is absolutely awesome. And it has this auto spooling reel, right? So it will retract or release. And then it also stops and catches it as well. Super nice. Just has an on off switch here. So basically what I do uh, for a safety measure is I have my water on one of these little splitter valves set up and I just literally flip the switch like this. That's off and when I wanna use it, I flip this on. I go right here and boom, my pressure washer is ready to go. I spool that out and start washing my car. So if you're like me and you got a nice vehicle and you try to keep it pretty clean, you know that setting up that pressure washer can take easy five minutes, right? Picking up power, getting the cord, all of that. And here's a quick snippet. With this setup right here, I could spool it out and get it going probably in under 15 seconds if I really tried, but I'd put it right there at about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so with me just tugging out the hose. So we can easily take the tips off just by pulling this back and popping it out. And you can see there's a nice little holder right here, which is great to keep them easily accessible for when you need to change those out. Now, it actually comes with this foam cannon right here that's been sitting in my garage for like a year with this foam in it. So I don't know what kind of cocktails in here. All right, wish, wish me luck on this. Yeah, honestly, uh, not bad, not bad at all. Pretty decently thick foam right there uh, from this little foam cannon. Let's see if I can adjust it and make a little bit better foam. Okay, you can see that's more water, obviously. That's more foam right there. Then we'll get the, uh, the spray. You can see that's uh, for the money here. I swear to God, you cannot beat this setup. Look at, look at how thick the foam is. Not that it really matters, and uh, it's the thickness of the foam, whatever, but we could see it's just stuck on the car and it's looking good. This one runs out. And, and mind you, there was just a little bit of foam. In there. Okay, so that, is out now you can see with just this much foam in there I, I was almost able to do the full vehicle and uh film most of that right there just with that old snow foam that i had in there i have this one i it was just chilling in my garage i think i'm all out of the one that i was using before i'll leave a link down to that below in the description but we'll pump a little bit of this in there add a little bit of water like i said i don't usually measure this out i just kind of give it a little squirt probably to there this is where it comes down to like if you needed to use your regular hose you've already hooked it up to your pressure washer and you've already got a kink in your crappy old hose you're having to go use that so dedicated system like that so i'm just filling that up we'll kill it cocktail works So I've used just that much so far of it. You wanna drain these out, but I wanted to show this thing's old and it's still working absolutely awesome. And I've never gotten a pressure washer that the foam cannon actually works and makes good snow foam. Like it's actually kind of crazy that this one doesn't suck. Give her a bit of dwell time. Uh, 
this little guy, right? It is just your regular microfiber mitt type of thing. However, it's on a pole. Now my pole did break, all right? This is from Amazon. It was 15 or $13, but literally one of the best things that I've purchased for washing my car. It just sped up the process so much. Now, like I said, mine eventually broke because I was doing some of these big things and I had it out here and I was using a lot of leverage on it. I need to buy a new one, I'm not gonna lie, but I absolutely love it because instead of having your hand like this and doing this sort of thing, you grab the pole, boom. You're doing this sort of stuff and it's like so much faster. Oh, and when it has an extra like two feet on the end and you use it, it's a lot faster. So yeah, I, I, I need to buy a new one of these, but I highly recommend it. Now, obviously, if you guys think, well, it's junk, it's broke. Uh, yeah, I, it, it's aluminum, all right? So watch. All right, it doesn't, let's, it's uh, pretty strong, like I'm saying, I just, I don't know, I just gave it a lot of torque at one point in time and it eventually failed. So I was giving it some heaves. This is still pretty damn strong, so don't think it's like complete junk, but it is, you know, thin walled aluminum. So it is what it is, but I absolutely love this. And there's nothing nasty on this. There's like a little piece of paracord. It's not gonna scratch anything up. Uh, you can buy new mitts for them as well. Just clean them up every once in a while. There are ways to wash your car, full detailing mode, two bucket technique, you know, ceramic coating, all your paint, all that, doing a full detail, doing a full getting your done. But then there's also that maintenance wash. And for me, this is how I do my maintenance washes. And uh, this car gets driven and it doesn't just sit there looking pretty. It goes fast, it hauls ass, it does time attack and it wins races. So. That's what's up with this bad boy. You can obviously install this wherever you can fit it in your garage. This spot worked good for me. There's also a little holder back here for your uh, snow foam can, which is great. And then once you're all done, you can start reeling it all back in. Watching guys, hit that like button if you guys like this video. Links down below in the description. These are the items that I'll be using all year. If I change it up, make sure to subscribe. Guys, I can't say it for some reason. Subscribe. Uh, and then I'll show you if I change it up. But I've really been loving this setup just with the quick and ease of it. It just makes it easy because, I don't know, the lazier you are, the, you know, the more it's like, oh, I don't want to go out there and do it. And this makes it really easy, guys. So, later and wrench on.